नाउ ए बिल फॉर रुपीज थाउजेंड इज ड्रॉन बाय ए ऑन बी एंड एक्सेप्टेड बाय द लेटर पेबुल एट द न्यू बैंक ऑफ इंडिया सो व्हाट एंट्रीज शुड बी फास्ट इन द बुक्स ऑफ ए अंडर ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सर्कमस्टांसेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन द बुक्स ऑफ ए जर्नल इन द बुक्स ऑफ ए ड्रॉ द जर्नल फॉर्मेट देर इज नो डेट ओनली ए बी सी डी इज देयर फास्ट ए ड्रू ए बिल एंड बी हेन्स फास्ट एंट्री विल बी बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू बी बींग द एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ बी रिसीव वन थाउजेंड इन द डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट देर इज नो डेट आई हैव पुट ए क्वेश्चन मार्क इन द ए पार्ट इफ द बिल इफ ए रिटेन द बिल टिल ड्यू डेट एंड देन रियलाइज एन मैच्यूरिटी इफ ए इज रिटेनिंग द बिल विथ हिम in uh, in the anticipation that he will be getting payment at the end then there is no entry for keeping the bill with him the first entry will do and at the end of the year it will be like this if a retained the bill till due date cash account debited to bills receivable account being payment received on acceptance of b 1000 in the debit column 1000 in the credit column and in the b part this is the A part is over, and the B part. If A discounted it with his bankers for rupees nine fifty, if A discounted the bill with the bankers after getting the payment, then B part is, if the bill is bill is discounted at a bank. One more thing is there. The last line of the question tells us also give the necessary entries in each of the cases if the bill is dishonored. In case one, bill kept till due date A part, and if the bill is dishonored, it will be the reverse of the first entry B to B R. B debited to bills receivable account thousand thousand, being acceptance of B dishonored. Then B part tells us if he discounted it with his bankers for nine fifty B part. If he discount the same with his banker paying for. Rupees nine hundred fifty, that is bank account debited, money was deposited in our bank account by the bank, that is nine hundred fifty. Hence, uh, this will be if it discounts the same with his banker paying rupees nine fifty, that is bank is paying nine fifty. Bank account debited nine hundred fifty. Discount account debited rupees fifty to bills receivable account thousand. Being the acceptance of a B discounted at bank. And if it is dishonored, the last line, if the bill is dishonored, B debited to bank. Being acceptance of a B discounted at bank dishonored. The next line will be C part. If A endorsed it to his creditor C in full settlement of his debt, that is C debited to bills receivable account thousand thousand, being the acceptance of a B, endorsed to C in full satisfaction. There is no discount actually in full satisfaction. There is discount. There should be discount, but actually <coughs> for a thousand due, he has endorsed the bill. If this is degenerate towards the end on the due date. That is B debited to C, being the acceptance of a B endorsed to C in full satisfaction dishonored. Then D part is if A sent it to his bankers for collection. When there will be two entries D one D two. If A sent the bill to his banker for collection and the bill payment was received on the next day by the bank. Bill sent for collection account debited to bills receivable account in the debit and credit rupees thousand thousand, being the acceptance of a B sent to the bank for collection. And D two in the second case that is if the bank collected the money, bank account debited to bills sent for collection account, being the acceptance of a B received from A sent to the bank for collection is collected by bank. And after this, the the last one, if this is dishonored, A sent it to the bank for collection, and it was dishonored in the bank, then this will be B debited to bills sent for collection account thousand thousand, being the acceptance of B received from A sent to the bank for collection dishonored. 
and the totaling of the journal will be rupees 10,000 both debit and credit columns and this is the final answer.